Tomorrow, the Constitutional Court will consider if parents can use corporal punishment at home. The case is an appeal of a 2017 judgment by the South Houghton High Court which struck down the common law defense of reasonable, reasonable chastisement. The court found the defense violates children's rights. Submissions have been made by the Center for Child Law on behalf of the Children's Institute, the Peace Center, and the Sisonke Gender Justice. For more on this, we're joined by Carol Bauer from the Peace Center. Good evening, Carol. Thanks very much um, for your time. I mean, we know for a fact that uh, a corporal punishment was prohibited in 1995 by the Constitutional uh, Court in detention settings, and five years later, uh, in 2000, the same happened uh, with respect to schools. Are you arguing that this should be extended yes. to homes as well precisely because of that, or there is more to it than simply that? Well, there are... <clears throat> Good evening. There are many reasons to, to prohibit corporal punishment um, in the home. Uh, the fact of the matter is that it is, in, it is illegal to assault anybody in South Africa, including children. But parents have a special defense available to them in common law that allows them to say they were reasonably chastising their child when they assault their child. So it's, that the, it's a powerful reason to prohibit corporal punishment that children are the only people not protected from violence of a private source. For example, you can't hit your wife if, she does, if you don't like what she's doing. But you can hit your child. Children are smaller and weaker and more vulnerable than adults. They should get more protection, not less. Well, I mean... Uh certain parents as you correctly um, uh, point out but also some uh, religious group are arguing that uh, it's not uh, as the assault that you're saying it is and uh, by criminalizing it or by making it illegal you'll be making criminals of uh, people who uh, and parents who essentially love their children but believe that a little bit of uh, reasonable chastisement uh, um, uh, is good for rearing a child? Well, you know, when we were looking at men beating their wives, we didn't say, well, you know, maybe we should uh, allow a little bit um, because uh, it's done lovingly and um, we didn't do that then. Why are we doing that now? And and people who claim a religious basis for, their, for their, the way they treat their children, anyone can believe whatever they like. Our Constitution makes that absolutely clear. But rights are weighed against each other. And the, the right to live without violence is more, has more weight than the right to practice your religion when practicing your religion infringes the rights of other people, in this case, children. Uh, I understand your argument uh, centers also, or has actually taken uh, a lot of evidence uh, that from studies that have been done around uh, what uh, violence and beating children actually does to a child as they grow up. Yes, well, I mean, the, the, the things I've been raising up until now have been related to children's rights. But actually, the research evidence is very clear and ha is growing. There's more and more evidence that even the so-called little smacks or the loving smacks, as sometimes they're called, can cause a great deal of damage in a number of areas. They affect children's social development. They make children more aggressive. They make children into more aggressive adults when they grow up. They result in cognitive uh, deficits, uh, cognitive delays. They result in um, emotional and uh, psychological problems. 
There are many, many, many reasons that, that it is bad to hit children. But perhaps one of the most important is that we live in an extraordinarily violent society. We have among the highest levels of all kinds of violence in the world, from intimate partner violence, through rape, through community violence, on every level. When we hit children, we teach them the wrong lesson. We teach them that bigger, stronger, more powerful people can hurt smaller, weaker people with impunity. That's not a lesson we want to be teaching children in a society already riddled with violence. Now, litigation and the subsequent rulings uh, that come with it uh, may or may not actually deal with uh, the underlying issues or what begets violence and uh, the subsequent impact that that has on children. What should we be doing as a society to drive the, po the points you have just made home that in fact violence that is, doesn't do what some people still think it does? Mm. Mm. There is one point I'd also like to just go to quickly which you raised earlier and it slipped my mind. It's very important to understand that this is not about criminalizing parents. It is very seldom in children's best interests to put their parents in jail, and we are not wanting to do that. It's also the case that children very seldom report even the most terrible abuses against them. So the idea that there's going to be a stream of children beating their way to the police station doors to lay charges against their parents is ridiculous. It's not going to happen. But in terms of what we should do, there is so much that we should do. We need to, to remember that, that parenting is a hard job and we don't give parents much support. The, you know, children don't come with a, with a manual on how to do it, so we're all flying by the seat of our pants. We need to help parents to understand how it is possible to raise children without discipline because it is possible. There are many children who are raised without smacking, and they all turn out perfectly fine. And we, we need to, to find ways to do that on a much wider scale. Unfortunately, when you hit your children, it, it gets easier each time to hurt more the next time. And Childline will tell you that many of the parents that phone them are phoning because they feel terrible, because they went crazy, because their child was so naughty and so frustrating and they couldn't stop and they've hurt their child and they feel terrible. It's not that we necessarily have parents who want to hurt their children, it's that most people were brought up with spanking, they think that they turned out all right and I'm sure that they did, but they don't really know how they would have turned out had it hadn't not happened like that. And we know enough now to know that it is causing damage and breeding violence. And it's time to stop hitting kids. Carol Bauer, thanks very much for your time this evening. She is from the Peace Centre. Tomorrow, of course, the Constitutional Court will be considering that particular appeal.